happy hour of the month. What is better than cider in October? Uh, I can't think of anything better. <laughs> so it's a great way to get your buzz on. How did you come up with your cider? Um, I was an avid home brewer. We okay. did a lot of a lot of experimental stuff. Uh, I made some ciders, some wine, some beers in my basement. Uh, ciders were always my favorite one to make, favorite one to drink. Uh, seemed like they were the ones that my friends gravitated to the really? most and seemed to enjoy the most. So we just kind of went with it. We turned a hobby into a into a full time business now. Where was this basement? Uh, right here, just a few blocks away from our shop. So did your whole basement smell like apples and <laughs> different concoctions and cinnamon? And um, <laughs> it didn't have uh, too much of a of a smell. It was it was pretty sticky at times, though. You know. Okay. Now these, some of these stay on your menu all the time, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Bone and Overcast are our two staples. They stay on year round. Very basic. It's a dry apple. Overcast is a semi-sweet apple. Um, it's they pretty much exemplify what we do with cider. Yeah. What do you think? Because cider over the years, you know, I would have to say, wait, and then maybe the last two years has become really popular. Um, ciders and even you know, the, you know the sweet drinks. I won't name any names, but you know those the seltzers and things like that. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think it's just. Um, I think people are just looking to break away from the norm. You right. Know? And, you know how many how many IPAs can you taste? Right. You know how many. How many pinots can you taste? You know, they all start to yeah. taste the same. How many Bud Lights can you smash? How many of those can you drink, you know? <laughs> so uh, tell us about your happy hour. I know it's very popular among locals. Yes, it is. Uh, happy hours are Friday nights from 4 to 8 p.m. Okay. Uh, all of our ciders, all of the wines, all the cider-based cocktails that we make, they're all $5 for those four hours. Okay. And you also sell um, some growlers at all, or did we you do. take a go? Okay. Yeah, we do. We sell growlers in three sizes. Uh, we have, this is the middle size, 32 ounce. Okay. This is what we call the baby size, the 16 ounce. Uh, and this is the big guy, the half gallon. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how did you come up with your name? Uh, I know Max is your last name, but how did you come up with Well, it, it kind of does, actually. The um, uh, Like I said, Overcast was the first cider that I ever made. Okay. So, Banter's Overcast is an anagram for Steve Broncato Sr. So, okay. it's actually named after my father. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> he loves his dad. Yeah. <laughs> pretty well. Okay, so what we have here is some of the samples of drinks that you can get during happy hour on Fridays. All right. Tell us what these are. I love these colors too. Perfect for fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this one here is... I'll uh, take one of each. <laughs> all right. So this one here is bone. Uh, that's our dryer blend. Okay. Um, there's nothing in there but apples. You know, it's just, it's, it's just apples fermented down about as dry as we can go. Um, this next one here is our, this was uh, one of our um, late summer releases. That's a blueberry acai. Oh, wow. Uh, it's been very popular, but you can see it has a cloudier appearance to it. Okay. Um, and on the right there is uh, what we call Jack Warner. That's our plum blend. Okay. Uh, one of very, very fruit forward, a little tart on the finish. Um, but Jack Warner will probably be here uh, through the middle of October, okay. uh, maybe sometime in September. And then that'll be replaced with a cranberry soda. Okay. Now, I hate to ask this, but are you going to add any pumpkins? Because you know how people feel about pumpkins. You know, I was I was on the fence for it for a long time. Okay. Because people were, have been asking, right. like you said, they love the pumpkin. But what I'm learning is that there's two kind of people. There's the pumpkin spice people, and then there's the apple people. <laughs> you know, you got to pick your flavor for the fall. Right. So I think for this year, I'm going to... Put it off okay. again, hopefully without too much backlash. But if they uh, if they persist, maybe we'll put them out next year. Okay. Now, as far as food's concerned, I know um, you know you can bring something in if you want. Yep. Okay. Um, what would you pair these kinds of ciders with? Uh, bone. You could pair with uh, anything spicy. Uh, okay. Like Thai food would be good. Um, you could even pair. Um, you could you could pair it with anything you would pair a dry white wine with, uh, maybe some cheese, okay. you know, maybe some sharp cheese would be good. Um, the two fruitier ones, the blueberry acai, um, the plum, uh, maybe a nice fruit salad. Okay. Uh, the plum would even go nice as uh, maybe a dessert wine. Pair it with like a dark uh, chocolate or a, you know black forest cake or something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we had a great time. Happy fall, everyone, and thanks to Steve at Banter's Hat. Happy fall, everyone, and thanks to Steve at Banter's Hard Cider. Come on down. Thanks, Steve.
Thank you. <laughs>